What is up my Roger Bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. So today guys I want to basically tell you and talk to you all about is the week 1 Intel mission locations. So with the release of season 4 of Modern Warfare if you are in Warzone you can actually make your way over to the tab named challenges and the first tab should be in challenges missions. Once you have gone into missions go over to Intel and the season 4 mission should come up named Fracture. Now with 7 objectives if you want even more XP with these when doing these 7 objectives then all you have to do is use the double XP bonus that you can get and on top of this if you have happy hour and then if you get double XP then on top of this for usually the start of the whole season you usually get for a day or two or something like that but also if you have tokens of double xp you can use them and i also want to say before we kind of get into it that i have been back live streaming weekly on twitch link down in the description below please hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever i go live on my twitch channel now before we start again i just want to say the intel can only be found in one game at a time so once you have the first intel you will have to either finish out the game or simply just leave the game so yeah let's get straight into it guys now the first one is find the cause of the attack on airport now the objective one it says find the location in the message ghost has sent you so this is the message and this is basically just going to the tv station so let's just head over to the tv station right now find the place with the camera so the camera is right here and as you can see something is actually here with the little symbol here and it says collect after this the second one that we go to actually shows where we have to go to gate b23 and i shall show that now over here and once you are here you just jump over this and then this is the intel right here objective number three shows us unable to contact atc tower need push back authentication no response on phones will send someone to atc tower and that is where we literally just went as well all you have to do is just glide in and you want to find this intel right here you want to find this with the the phone and everything on it and boom so the fourth piece of intel basically just tells us to go somewhere to find what happened to the whole cargo or the plane that was there I go south about south south east ish from the military base as you can see that is pinged here and you will see this big plane that is actually been uh, shot out of the sky and you have to actually go there find the intel now the intel will be in the first one that's over here or the main head of the whole plane that's just down from the middle part where the nose and everything is and just back here then you will see that you can collect the intel which is just nice and neatly on the ground as you can see besides some rubbish now the fifth objective shows us the tragic story of the airplane where they were actually trying to make an emergency landing with the airport not responding and then they tried the military base and they did not get a response there either so they decided to fly at a lower altitude with in interference being heavy they actually got shot down by something from the military base but once you land military base you want to go down over here jump through here come over here and then boom collect intel finally we have objective six our final objective where we see this is a decrypted message of alcatala forces attacking arm four forward base as you can see here now and i will show you where to get this intel from better if you land in the back like this run through 
and right here on the computer is the intel last but not least it just says decoding zarkov's plan is in motion we thank the line for his support he may return to Yorgistan. this is the end of the video guys i hope you did like it if you did please hit the like button right beside the like button is the subscribe button beside that should be a notification bell where you can click to stay up to date whenever i go live on my channel or whenever i upload speaking of live streams I would rarely live stream on my YouTube channel, but I live stream weekly on my Twitch channel. Link down in the description below where you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever I go live on my channel. I also have a Twitter that I manually update weekly or whenever I upload and I go live on either my YouTube channel or on my Twitch channel. And link to that would be down in the description below as well and you can hit the follow button there. And yeah, that's it guys. Hope you like, favorite, and subscribe and peace.